Hey everyone, welcome back to the MN Homestead. Today I'm going to show you kind of an extension of our homestead. It's part of what we call our compound up here. As you know, my husband and I have our 40 acres, but a little bit down the road, my mother-in-law and sister-in-law both have tiny houses. So that's what I want to show you a little bit about today. Um, there is one property between us. It's about seven-ish acres, so we are very close together. It's a nice little shot right down the road. Um, taking a walk, a four-wheeler, anything like that is nice and easy for us to visit. So we check in with each other multiple times a day, most days. Um, so uh, firstly, behind me, I have my mother-in-law's uh, tiny house. So they have the same exact tiny house uh, built by Premier Buildings, which we really, really like. Um, they are very quality. And my husband and I actually thought about doing a tiny house on our property. But as we started dreaming and thinking about all the fun things that we can do, we ended up going with building our own cabin. But these things are absolutely excellent. So here on the compound, we have, as I said, my mother-in-law's tiny house and my sister-in-law's right over here. We also have a uh, screened in um, deck area for dinners and whatnot when the bugs are bad. We have a little hand washing station for um, after the bathroom and we also have a, an outdoor shower, which is really, really nice to have. So I'm gonna give you a quick little panoramic view of everything we have here in a minute. And then I want to give you a tour of my mother-in-law's tiny house. I am very, very excited to use her expertise when we are decorating our cabin because it is so cute, I can barely stand it. So um, I'm gonna show you a little bit around there. I'll see if I can convince her to join us a, a little bit to show you guys what is happening there. Um, and I just look forward to letting you see a little bit more about the life that we and our families have built up here. So as promised, here is a quick panorama of the compound. We have my mother-in-law's tiny house and we have a few of our many four-wheelers. Moving over this way, we have uh, the electric hookup. We have the picnic table with the grill in front of it. My sister's, my sister-in-law's tiny house. And then as we move onward, we have our version of a screen porch. And then moving all the way along, we end up with our outdoor shower, which is an absolutely wonderful Thing. We really, really enjoy it. Hi, I'm Lisa, Miranda's mother-in-law. Um, welcome to our tiny cabin. Um, since I was a little girl, I always loved small spaces. So when it came to having a cabin, I was thrilled to be able to have this tiny space. Um, I like the rusticness of it. I love the imperfections. Um, and I love the simplicity of it. So here, I'll give you a little tour. This is our little sleeping area. It, originally when we built this, we were gonna put a wall here, but we found that it just would close it in. So we have these nice curtains that close that give us a little bit of privacy. And uh, then in the morning, we open them up and start our day. And then after that, here's our little living room. And we call this, and Miranda will take a picture of this. This is our entertainment center, where we have books, magazines, movies, um, we watch our movies on a little DVD player, cards, um, word games, um, lots of little fun games to play as a family, and our little couch and um, sitting area. Uh, one of the things that we I love the most, and she'll get a picture of this too as we move in our kitchen area, is we have a little wood stove. Um, it is not set up yet. We have got to put the rock behind the wall and that will be done by fall, but um, it is little. My husband is cute. He puts candles in there, and we pretend that it is a fire. But by fall, that will be up and running. So when Miranda brings you over to our kitchen area, we have um, an old table. This was the first piece of furniture when me and my husband were um, together 17 years ago that we bought. And um, it's such an ugly little thing, but it fits perfect with the character of our tiny home. So um, we play lots of card games on here. We listen to old radio stations and um, enjoy our time playing games there. This is our kitchen area. Um, for now, we cook on just a little Coleman camp stove. Um, I'm not sure if that's gonna change or not. Um, I really, we really enjoy most of the time grilling or um, cooking over the open fire more than a stove. So I'm not sure, so far this is sufficing. Um, probably the most modern thing we have is our coffee maker, the 
the Keurig, but we also have the old coffee pot when we feel like perking up a pot of it. I bought most of our furniture in here. You'll see it's very rustic and it's made out of barn wood. And I found uh, people who are um, have disabilities that take down barns and use the wood to build um, things. So I love the barn wood factor. And this is our little pantry. has all our little food items we need and our little dishwash station. Um, we have two lofts. This one's basically used for storage. Um, there is a guest bed on our other loft and um, some other things we just use every once in a while. So I want to thank you for touring our um, little tiny home. We love it. We love being close to family. We love all the quality and family time we spend here. And uh, thank you. Thank you so much for joining us back at the MN Homestead and at our family compound. I'm really excited you got a chance to see a little bit more of everything we have going on up here and that you were able to meet my mother-in-law. I am extremely lucky. Not only can I tolerate my mother-in-law, I absolutely adore her. You hear lots of horrible stories about mother-in-laws and I have absolutely zero of those. So I am very, very grateful to have her in my life. So. Please make sure to keep up with us here at the homestead. Hit that little subscribe button below and the little follow icon so you get notified every time we put up a video. Also check out our blog, themnhomestead.com, as well as following us on Instagram at the.mn.homestead. And we will see you next time up here at the homestead.